Dr. Pat with Little Critters and we have Turbo here today. He's an 11 year old ornate box turtle and he's in because his owner noticed that his beak was overgrown and he's having trouble eating. If you look at him, his mandibular beak or the lower part of his beak is actually growing forward and in front of the maxillary or top beak. And this is associated with many other problems that we see in this guy. If you look at his carapace or top shell, you can see it's actually sunken in and pretty abnormal in its growth. And if we look at the plastron or the bottom shell, you can see right behind the hinge, it's also sunken in and very abnormal in growth. Box turtles, because they have a hinge, so that's what differentiates them. So when we press here, this piece moves and in general, They'll go into their shell, close this up, and they form a little box. His hinge does not fully close, and it's because of these growth abnormalities. This is a common problem that we see very frequently in box turtles. It's almost certainly a nutritional secondary hyperparathyroidism, which is really metabolic bone disease, where they are developing growth abnormalities because of an inappropriate diet, lack of supplementation, and lack of UV light, and often multiples of those factors. Reptiles need a source of UVB and UVB cannot be filtered through a window. So if we have a window with sun, a lot of owners think they're getting UVB, but it actually blocks out all UVB. So they're not getting any fake or artificial sunlight. And then we need a source of calcium, which is very important. And that has to be provided as supplementation. Box turtles do need a ratio of about half protein to half vegetables. And very commonly, box turtles are extremely picky and finicky in what they'll eat. So it's very common. We see them come in and they'll only eat cat food, which is very bad for them, very high in fat, causes a lot of problems. Or they might only eat fruits. This guy has a preference for fruits. You need to work on that. There are some commercial diets. Missouri makes an insectivore diet. Rapashi has a stew diet that are both good for box turtles. We generally will give these guys lots of different insects, night crawlers or earthworms, and try to get a natural protein source. They are natural hunters. Box turtles like to bury themselves in the substrate, stick their little head up, and then they snap whatever walks by. And so often we'll accept live food like insects very readily. A lot of what we're seeing in this little guy is it is what it is. So we can't fix this. The shell has grown like this. He's 11 years old. This isn't going to change. And so what we do recommend is getting a metabolic profile on them, making sure there's no internal changes, particularly kidney changes that are associated with this. And then we do a fecal with most of the reptiles, just making sure if there is a pathogenic parasite burden that we treat that. So we try to remove everything that could be causing a problem optimize the diet and the environment, and then we'll dremel and level this beak today, and that will require ongoing care for him throughout his life.